the local hairdresser who donated her time for the cause no doubt can pull off a raft of stunning hair designs. But there was just one style on display at the hospital and that was bald. The event was the countdown supermarket shave-off that has raised more than $5.7 million nationally in the last seven years. The Countdown Kids Area champion behind the event locally says it helps the hospital with extras. It's basically to uh, raise funds for the children's ward so that they can afford to buy the nice things and the things that perhaps the hospital budget doesn't stretch to. The result for Children's Health Services in Otago and Southland has been more than 800000 in the last five years. That money has been used to buy equipment and make the hospital environment a nicer place and this year will go to the redeveloped children's ward. And that's to enhance the environment for the neonates, babies, children and their families. It's just so that the environment isn't just functional, it's family centred. The many watching eyes and clicking cameras were not a concern for one of the newly bald five. <laughs> oh, that didn't worry me. It, it's quite a different feeling actually. You can really notice the cold as soon as it came off. So, uh, no, it feels pretty cool, but yeah. All five will have to put up with any late spring cold until their locks grow back. But while the stuff that made Samson powerful was left behind in an old blue tarpaulin, the unwell kitties of the south will be that much better off. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.